When you think of endangered Australian wildlife, you probably think of things like koalas or maybe Tasmanian devils. But what if I told you that Australia is home to the most endangered reptile on the planet, a species of dragon lizard so endangered that many people thought it was extinct and it was last seen 50 years ago, until very recently. In this video, we're gonna talk about the Victorian grassland earless dragon. So the Victorian grassland earless dragon is just one of several species of earless dragons that we have around Australia. And until fairly recently, we thought they're all the same. It's only recently that we've looked at biology and we've broken them into several species. Now they're quite a bit smaller than this guy here, the bearded dragon, but they used to be in many places just as common. Now the Victorian species, the one that we're gonna be talking about today, was actually once abundant on the grasslands west of Melbourne through to Geelong, down here in Southern Victoria, which is now one of the most populated parts of the country. Unfortunately, this particular piece of habitat, these grasslands are the most endangered habitat in Australia. The reason for this is that while when Europeans arrived, we certainly cleared a lot of forests, we could pretty much instantaneously convert these native grasslands into productive pasture for our sheep and cattle. So today, less than 1% of our native grasslands west of Melbourne still exist today. Now that being said, that alone probably would not have driven them to the point that they are at today. You see, while grazing can certainly impact environments in a bunch of negative ways, we do know that a lot of animals, and animals that live similar lifestyles, such as the pygmy blue tongue skink, have managed to survive alongside sheep and cattle and things like this. What really pushed the grassland earless dragon to the point where we thought it was extinct was when this pasture was then turned into the suburbs of Melbourne. And the vast majority of those grasslands now aren't native grasslands. They're not pasture with sheep and cows. They're under concrete. They're where people are living. And then we introduce things like cats and foxes. And over time, this species became so endangered that the last photograph, the last evidence we have of them existing was way back in 1969. Now, while certain conservation organisations held out hope that this species might be existing in little pockets of grassland that are remaining, a lot of people basically considered them extinct. We thought they weren't there anymore. That was until January of this year, 2023, when a small population of grassland earless dragons was discovered basically by accident by two ecologists. People who were doing field studies of a different species of reptile to see what was there and stumbled across a dragon that hadn't been seen for half a century. Since then, a total of 16 grassland earless dragons were found in this tiny sliver of habitat, and these animals are now under the care of Zoos Victoria at Melbourne Zoo. Now, these animals are gonna be the founding members of basically a conservation and breeding program. So, while this species has never been kept in captivity before, fortunately, Zoos Victoria has in recent years had great success breeding the very closely related and also endangered Canberra grassland earless dragon. So we can hopefully take what we've learned from this species, apply it to the Victorian species, and start to create an insurance population. They're also using these individuals to specially train detection dogs so that we can go out into the habitat fragments that remain and identify if there's any more of them. This is not only important so that we can maybe increase the genetic diversity. These animals have probably been split up by suburbs for 100 years or plus. So it creates all sorts of genetic issues. But also discovering them is a vital part of ensuring that we can earmark those habitats as earless dragon habitat and they don't get developed again in the future. So yeah, specialist dogs out there in the bush doing their thing, the earless dragons in captivity, creating an insurance population, and together, thanks to Zeus Victoria and a bunch of other people involved in the threatened species recovery, hopefully maybe one day, we will have the Victorian grassland earless dragon back out on the West Victorian plains where it's supposed to be for us all to enjoy. So there you have it guys, that's just a little look into the rediscovery of a species that many people thought was extinct. Now beyond being great news for the earless dragon, this is also a great example of why conservation of habitat is so important. Even when we think an animal is extinct, it then becomes easy to say, look, there's nothing there. It doesn't matter, that habitat's not important. But if it's rediscovered, 
we need somewhere for it to go to. So, you know, nature has given us a second chance and we are fortunate that we have trained specialists around the world who are able to grab that ball and run with it. I think it's fantastic news. Now, anyway, I hope you have enjoyed the video. I hope this gives you a little glimmer of hope for wildlife in the future. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel or check us out on Facebook. But other than that, guys, as always, check on back next week. There's more videos coming. But between now and then, be nice to wildlife. Have a good one and take care.